every second, every minute Man, I swear that she can get it Say if you want that bitch, put your hands up Welcome back to the video, back to the one and only, Simone Nicole TV, and now some what? Period. Period, poo. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. I do videos on travel, lifestyle vlogging, my locks, um, designer unboxing, reviews, hauls, all the good stuff. So if you're here for that, just make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss out on my upcoming videos. So before we get into the video, I want to give um, some sub a shout out. Thank you guys so much. I've gained like five subscribers, five to ten subscribers in one week, and I appreciate it so much for you guys subscribing to my channel. I can't wait till we get to 1K. It's going to be so exciting when I finally get to 1K subscribers, and I can't wait to do my 1K giveaway. We are currently at 577 subscribers. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> So today's subby shout out will go to Christy in the city. I'm so excited to shout her out because she just reached 1K subscribers. So I was able to find her channel through being a part of Stampede University. And if you know, you know. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. Let's go ahead and get to the video. So in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about the Sarah wallet. And here she is. This is the Sarah wallet. I'll be doing a review. It's been about two years since um, this wallet has been purchased. I purchased this from my mother. So she's been wearing it every day, every day wallet. So it's gonna be a really good review. Um, she, I don't think she babies anything that she uses, but the fact that she uses it every day will give you a really good generalization of if this wallet is good enough quality for you to invest your coin into. I do not own a Sarah wallet. I do not have a full length wallet. I'm a um, card holder type of girl or like a um, key pouch, zipper, small, little, cause I like smaller bags. My mom, she's a backpack person or like a tote, medium sized tote person. So she, this is perfect for her, for her everyday use. So this is a Sarah wallet, like I said before. There are other wallets Louis Vuitton carries. I believe there's the Zippy wallet. There's the Clements wallet. Um, I'll put pictures of these as well. And if I miss, if I miss any of the wallets that are full length, not the um, small other good. Is this considered small other good? Small other good? Yeah, these are considered small other goods, but not as small as the other ones. These are the full length wallets. So if I miss any of them, I'll post them also on the screen so you can see them. This wall was pur purchased, um, like I said, two years ago. I don't recall the price of it. I can't remember. She doesn't have the tags or the box. She ain't the type to keep those things, which I don't blame her. Um, Cause she don't plan on returning it or exchanging it or or um selling it. So if you're not the type of person to do those with the, your um designer items, of course you wouldn't keep the tags or the boxes. Also, the wallet there is a, a slip pocket on the back here. You can see that. You can slide anything you want in here. She had um, a card back here, just one card, um, and then it has a flap with a, a button, a button secure flap. Now as you can see. The flap doesn't have any, the gold part, I don't see any, are there any lines on it? Not really. It looks really, really good. Looking at it, it looks still brand new. I don't see any tarnishing on it from the gold hardware or from this part even scraping it. As you can see right here, it says made in France, I believe, made in France. Oh no, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, so I guess this is a made in France one, I don't know. It says Louis Vuitton Paris on the top. As you can see, this looks really good still, and so does the bottom part. I don't see any scratches on it, which is really amazing. I think that's amazing. So this wallet has, let's count how many slots it has for cards. It has one, two, three, one, two, I can't count. It has one, two, three, four on the front, two on each side. She definitely had multiple card stuff in here so it does have a give you can stretch it out as you can see to put multiple cards in there if you would like and it to be honest it bounced right back like you can't even tell in my opinion that there were cards shoved in multiple cards shoved in there the way it looks so there's four sections in the front and then on the back side of that there are one two three more three more right here as well as you can see and again, there are multiple cards stuffed in there. And then there's one flap after that. 
And then there's a zipper pouch, a zipper section to put coins in. And then there is three more. After that, after this open section, the open section, you have three more slots and then you have another pocket back here, another slip pocket to put anything in. And I believe she had her cash back here. So that's a good spot to put cash or receipts or, you know, loose papers that you might want to put somewhere away from your cards. So there's also a section here, like I mentioned earlier, where you can also put your cash or receipts there too. So there's two slips basically. So you have a slip right here and a slip, one slip here and then a slip in the front right there. And you have the open space here and open space on the opposite side of the zipper. So it's pretty, pretty large and it's very, very good for utility, organizational purposes, if I don't say myself say so myself and of course I mentioned the back pocket so like I said the hardware looks great let's look at the zipper so the zipper looks really good too um, there is a little bit of wear and tear on the zipper part so the zipper has the LV as well right there as it does on all the zippers on all the purses and wallets that have a zipper and as you can see the line of the zipper is very very nice there isn't any tarnishing on the actual zipper area but here you can kind of see where it kind of got a little bit grazed or pieces of the gold has come off and I don't know if there's a way to prevent that it could be the fact from just the material of this rubbing up against it every time you open and close it because as you can see this does have contact with the zipper pull when you close it so that could be a reason why that has wear and tear but the actual zipper looks great it's not jagged it's not loose anywhere it looks very very nice even the threading looks good still from where the zipper stops as you can see the threading looks so nice still it's not looking fluffy or worn out both sides look really really nice um, so let's look at the creasing part. So the creasing parts we have would be where it folds, right? Right here where it folds. And then on the back, it has a natural fold to it because it's been buttoned and fastened since it's been used. So it has a natural fold to it that we have to press it together. This is how it would lay naturally. Let's look to see how that, that line looks. That line doesn't look terrible. It comes with the territory. Um, yeah. Nothing to complain about here either. Yeah, this material looks really, really good still. Here's the outside material. You do a nice look at that again. So looking at the pockets where the cards go in, I do see um, some areas where the glazing has, has had some aging to it. And that's gonna come natural with you, so it's not anything to complain about either. Let me show you guys. As you can see, at the top parts where the um, glazing would be, it's either gone or just some of it's missing, if that makes sense. Like, just because it's been used, that pieces of the glazing is not completely one color, and it might be a little bit faded. As you can see here, this is super dark, but here it's not. And that's probably where she uses most of her, where this is probably where the cards go that she actually uses majority of the time on the outside. And the pockets on the inside look perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So yeah, you can tell where it was black before and now it has um, light beige colors where it possibly could split one day. You know, hopefully not. Hopefully that never happens, but you can definitely see the difference of this top glazed part where it's completely black versus the part where it's now um, more than one shade of brown and grayish blacks. So yeah, and that's not even that bad. Mm -mm. Nope. You can also see that when it comes to this part of the wallet where the glazing is. I don't know if I can really show you guys. Can you kind of see also here how some of the glazing did peel off a little bit? 
but it's not extremely bad. You can definitely see right here at the tip where some of the glazing did come off. Right here on the sides and the edges, it looks so, so good. Look at that. So, so good. Ooh, at the bottom, y'all saw that? Did y'all see that? <laughs> right there, we have a little bit of a glazing issue, I would say, where the wear is showing. It looks like thread, in my opinion, that came out a little bit. Yep, that's what that is. A piece, it's a little loop. Can you see it? A little bit of a loop. So be careful, you guys, with the edges of your walls going in and out of your purses. Be careful if you don't want the loop, the thread to come out, because that could cause issues later down the line if she's not too careful. Let's check the other side. The other side looks, looks fine. Looks fine to me. Glazing looks really nice. Very nice. Well made. Can't be mad at that. Let's see how the inside of the zipper pocket looks when it comes to where the coins were. If the coins scratched up this side or not. And no, not really. No, I can see that there is a little bit of transfer of color, I guess, from the coins. Or just from the coins rubbing up against the interior. Looking at the inside where the coins are, you can kind of see there's a little bit of discoloration. It's not a plain brown as I believe it was when I first purchased it, but I don't really recall because I didn't look at the inside of this pocket to be honest. I was like, this is a perfect wallet for her. I'm gonna get it. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But other than that, you guys, I would definitely recommend anyone to get this wallet no matter what age because even if you're young like in your early 20s even in your teens this is a great wallet to grow into because you're never gonna run out of spaces like i told you how many slots are in here uh card wise there's what i said four in the front six that's ten and then uh what how many more six right here so that's uh 16. so yeah you have 16 slots honey 16 card slots you can also put multiple cards into plus the two slip pockets and a zipper pocket and a slip pocket on the back. What more could you ask for in a wallet? What more could you ask for? So yeah, it's been going on two years, gonna be three years soon. And this wallet is really, really, still is in really good condition still. Um, the last thing I'm gonna mention is the front. You can kind of see the front where it curves a little bit. And I don't think that's a really big issue. <laughs> But I've noticed that it curves forward. I don't know why. I don't know why it curves forward like that. If anyone knows why the wallet does that, let me know. I'm assuming it just comes from you always pulling it up, maybe. Or because it's inside of a purse, maybe other objects are always brushing up against it. I don't know, but I've noticed that this does not lay flat. It curves upward. And so that could mean that this could start wearing soon because it's sticking out away from the wallet. So this might be the next area where we're gonna have glazing. On this side, it looks fine where that glazing corner is, but on this side, you can kind of see already where it's changing on us a little bit. But other than that, those are really minor, minor, minor issues. And I've had I've had way more issues with wallets that I purchased that were a lot cheaper than this. Didn't even last past two months because I've been so rough. I've been so rough. 10 out of 10, I recommend, I recommend get this wallet if you don't have it already. Get it. Why wait? I would say thumbs up to Sarah Wallet. It's very, um, to me, very classic because of the print and it's very grown. It's very grown. It's a grown wallet. I feel like um, it can be casual, but I, to me, this is more like a mature, non-casual type of a wallet, in my opinion. Because it's just giving the envelope effect. And the envelope, to me, just seems like very business. It's giving business. It's giving important information, documentation, forms are in here. And that's why it's in the envelope form. Not to be played with or confused with somebody else. I know who you address. I know who you're talking to. <laughs> But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. No tea, no time to cry, just